AST has the capabilities of transcribing audio files. So if I go into Video Original here, I'll see that these are audio files, while the rest are MP4s or MP3s or any movie file of the sort. Now, once that's been submitted and you've received your SRT file back, the steps you need to take are relatively easy, but they need to happen in order for you to allow your students to access the caption file and make it readable. Currently, this will not open for anybody unless you add it to the video. So what you do is you open your notepad or editing software, text editing software, and you'll search for the document. Now, as you'll see, it doesn't show it, but if you click all files, it brings it up. Here's the document, and as you'll see, it's notated by line and timestamp, which is what the SRT file has in order for it to pair it up succinctly with the audio. Now, it's not the prettiest thing, but it will work if you are trying to meet accessibility needs. And so what you want to do is you want to save as into that same folder, wherever it was previously, if that's where you'd like it, that's where I'm going to stick it. And you're going to change the end part to txt. And so now it's a text document. And so now I've got a text document here. And what I would like to do is I'd like to take this text document and I'd like to convert it to a PDF so it makes it a little bit easier to read. And so that's a lot simpler to read and makes it a lot more accessible. And you can stick this PDF anywhere. So I'm going to stick this PDF where I've also put the other one and leave the same name and then click Save. Now when you go to where you have all your content, you'll see that this opens up and it's pretty readable. And so now that makes your audio that you want to include in your course accessible. I hope this video helps and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to eLearning and your instructional designer.